welcome everyone to day four of peak week and so if you can surmise by the intro we're gonna talk all about food it's all about food and um, as you can see I have well I have a ton more cookbooks so I have 46 cookbooks around 46 47 cookbooks I love to cook I love to eat and I love bodybuilding so what a conundrum I yeah just found that balance and now you know this depletion stage is killing me i'm feeling a lot better today uh which is great i'm ending my depletion today i'm really happy tomorrow is gonna be great i'm gonna wake up make some french toast with um with egg whites so egg whites white bread uh a protein a scoop of protein in there for flavor then just fry that up uh, syrup maybe no syrup because that's a lot of carbs I don't need the extra carbs I'm getting all my carbs from clean sources so I'm doing that in the morning um, I've already prepped my meals it's gonna be all about the uh, all about cereal for snacks and uh, potatoes I've fried some potatoes so it's really it's like potato wedges or french fries but um, I'm having that with chicken breast and anyway, I wanted to give you guys a glimpse of how I've been managing the hunger pangs. And the secret is YouTube videos. YouTube videos, as you can see, this is majority of what pops up in my feed lately, at least. Um, if it's not workout videos, it's these guys. It's mukbangs. It's just people indulging in post-show, um, yeah, just post-show binges, 10,000 uh, calorie challenges, all of that stuff. Yeah, consensus in the bodybuilding world is after a show, a lot of people have been depleting themselves for like eight weeks out, you know, just a strict diet, even more than eight weeks for a lot of people. I know I started dieting hard eight weeks out to the show to the may 2nd date so uh yeah like i've just been fantasizing about food like crazy uh and yeah i think it's it's something to look forward to and again like that binge once that's done i know i'm gonna have to get back on the horse or force myself back on the horse uh do my cardio again uh make sure that i'm on the proper nutrition plan because I am lean bulking for October. I really want to gain at least 20 pounds um, so I can go get in contest lean 10 pounds heavier than now. But even then, that's less than I want to be. I want to be 20 pounds contest ready. So uh, that's a lot. Um, and October, that's it's 20 weeks plus two months. Two months and 20 weeks, that's the way I'm counting it. Because I know July is the 20 week mark. So <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get on with the show. I'm pretty sure I do a lot today and I talk a lot about food and I take you guys shopping. So let's go. So this is the final, this is the final um, run. And starting tomorrow, I'm just gonna be walking and it's gonna be more concentration on uh, the uh, time that I'm out walking instead of the actual distance of the run so that's gonna be cool don't want to like overdo it with the legs so yesterday was my final leg day and now it's just about recovery and you know just packing on the carbs the next few days and then yeah so it's just about the pump today is gonna be push day but more focus on the rep range not to failure but just to stimulate just to get that pump to feel the pump uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast first and then uh, worry about the workout later on in the day uh, yeah so um, after this we are I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is gonna read out my uh, nutrition plan for the next few days and then we're gonna talk about the post show diet so 
yeah it's gonna jump into it it's not even gonna be it's not even a post-show diet anymore it's just post-show anyway headbutt transition all right i am actually gonna go for walmart run real quick where's the camera there we go holding it my left hand um just gonna grab a couple of things and i'm taking you guys along with me headbutt transition again Actually, I just remembered that the local IGA is closer and they have all the stuff that I need. So why drive to Walmart? Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I am doing a loop clockwise and I'm getting um, chicken breast first. Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a total of Thousand kil thousand grams, so that's one kilogram. Let's see what they have. Okay, they have a lot. These guys. Um, I don't think I need more eggs. Um, I'm just here for potatoes and bananas. So chicken, potatoes, bananas. Potatoes. I need to get a full sack because it's a. Um, I'm eating 2.63 pounds of potatoes. Oh, okay. There's an extra basket attached to my basket. Um, yeah, bag of potatoes, uh, banana, and I'm gonna go down the s'mores, uh, not s'mores, sorry, uh, the goody aisle grab some uh, uh, what are they called oh, my brain this morning I grab some pop tarts all right here we go so they have strawberries or chocolate fudge I was actually I really wanted the strawberry ones if they had it so I'm gonna grab a box not that I can eat it right now but I'm really excited. That's gonna keep me motivated. I'm gonna keep that. Keep that right next to my desk. Just to remind me what I'm doing this for. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so back in the car. I saw this by the counter. So I know I'm gonna need this as a kicker on Saturday on show day. So um, yeah, really excited. Oh my God. Ooh. So just finishing up a nice push pump. So a bit of chest, a bit of shoulders. I'm moving on to triceps and then a uh, chug of protein shake. And I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm gonna be eating a lot of this. Uh, this is going to be my savior for tomorrow's carb load. Uh, I've had it for a week now, I think. It's really good. Uh, one cup is 1.5 grams of fat, um, one gram of protein, but it is 32 grams of carbs. So I'm going to have two cups of this to round tomorrow. Um, I will give a breakdown of the, the macros I'm aiming for tomorrow. And yeah, just give you guys a quick thing of like what I'm going to be eating in a bit. All right. Catch you guys later when I sit down. Physique check real quick. <coughs> Stomach back. <coughs> oh, I can't hold that. Um. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Hey guys, welcome back to my crib. Um, I am just going to go through the food, the ridiculous food that I'm going to be consuming. Um, just to break it down so you guys were with me when I went shopping. Shopping list. I am going to... Oh, this is... It's pretty ridiculous. I'm going to get a snapshot of just the 
foods, the names of the foods I'm going to eat. I'm just going to have it scrolling uh, right here. It's pretty ridiculous. I, I computed the macronutrients for each one, the approximate calories, the carbs, proteins, fats, and sodium. Uh, I've done some tweaking only because... I don't want to consume it all in one sitting. It's ridiculous. I don't want to kill myself doing this. Um, and it's for my benefit. Like, I want to eat these things. So I'm going to space them out only because, like, so just to let you guys know, like, it's 7,000 calories. So I'm going to space it out between Saturday to Monday, let's say. Or even, like, through the week. Um, next week, I'm going to take it easy with the diet. Maybe just a... It's going to count my calories instead of the macros because, uh, yeah, I just want to lay back, you know, just enjoy for a bit, still exercising, and then come next week, get back into it. I'm going into a bulk, a lean bulk program. Um, I just really want to get my weight up because right now contest weight is really low. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, here are the foods that I'm going to be consuming. So far, this is the stuff that's on my list as of now. So, Pizza Hut Hawaiian pizza. So, just one slice. I just want one or two. I don't know. Uh, from Tim Hortons, I want Boston cream, donut, a um, couple of honey glazed and chocolate Timbits. Uh, McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese and fries. Oh, but just small fries, but still, like, ugh. I want to eat a California roll, a BC roll. So for people who are watching this and don't know what a BC roll is, BC roll is a sushi with salmon skin. And sometimes, like depending on the place, you can get like the uh, the salmon skin will have some salmon on it still. So there's that smoky flavor. Um, I want to drink. Um, I just want like one of those zero calorie or no zero carb like 90 calorie drinks you know um yeah uh domino's pizza brooklyn style pepperoni pizza i want a couple of those uh, a couple of slices nah. uh, of course the pop tarts so excited for that i want spam on some indomie mi goreng specific like I, I just had spam on the list once but like like i gotta have it on something and what something that i haven't had Mee goreng. Uh, I want a grilled cheese sandwich, PB and J sandwich, just half a sandwich each. You know, I might split it or you know cut it in half. Give one to give the half to Laura <laughs> if my wife wants to partake with me. I want just a ramekin of mac and cheese. Ugh. Pancakes with egg, like it's called. It was back in the day growing up. It was called a pancake sandwich. Um, at the house of pancakes that I used to go to. Uh, so I want that. I haven't counted the syrup on that yet. I might not have syrup with that because I'm going to be just making them at home. So the pancakes will be sweet from the pancake mix that I make. I want some chicken wings, but I'm going to do them baked homemade. Uh, I want hot and barbecue, but like... Yeah, like I'll do it by myself just to crunch down on the calories. Um, I bought a Samyang spicy jajangmyeon. So Samyang's the the guys that make the spicy fire noodle challenge stuff. So they made a jajangmyeon uh, that's a sweeter uh, black bean based sauce. So I want that. I bought the pack already. The pack's already in the pantry. Uh, church's chicken I want like one original and one spicy um, I mean if I could just get the legs that would be great because that will crunch down on the calories and I could just have it in one sitting uh, I want to consume that Purdy's marshmallow bar I've got a dark chocolate marshmallow bar just sitting there his mother-in-law thank you Anne <laughs> um, gave it to us in a pack for Easter but I've just, just been sitting there and speaking of my mother-in-law, she's an amazing baker and she just gave us, just today, um, we passed by to pick up some stuff for Laura and she gave us a pack of cinnamon buns. I'm excited to consume that as well. So again, as I mentioned before, this whole list, 
it's around like 7,000 calories in total. So any shortcuts or half C's that I could do, I will do. I won't do this all in one sitting because it's ridiculous. And that doesn't even count the people, uh, the stuff that people have suggested. Uh, granted, there are only like five people who suggested stuff. So, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm really, really excited for the refeed. But like, I'm probably going to get sick. I was getting sick just like counting the macros for them. I really wanted to do that just to sh see, kind of be aware of what I'm putting in my body. And it's kind of, it's scaring me a lot. Like the sodium is high. So there's going to be a lot of water. Like originally I had beers in there, but like I took out the beers because I can't like, I want to be able to recover. Um, anyway, I am currently just lounging, drinking my protein shake. Uh, it's just a scoop, but like I like putting ice water in it and like mixing a lot of, um, a lot of water with it. Mm. Ah, cookies and cream. Then I put it a bit of uh, spice in there. I put a, uh, or cinnamon, cinnamon spice, not spicy spice. But, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Um, so leading up to the contest, I am going to, yeah, like I'm upping my carbs tomorrow to 350, um, dropping it down to, or no, sorry, I'm just hitting 300 and a bit. I want to do like a bit over two times my current weight. Uh, I don't want to just you know, go overboard and spill over uh, with the carbs. On Thursday, I'm going down to 250, and then Friday, I'm going down to 200. But again, uh, the Thursday and Friday carb values will change uh, depending on how I look on Thursday. I'm still going to aim for like the 200 mark, but you know, I don't want to go overboard. I just want to look and feel big and, you know, pump worthy. I'm going to take a few, like just a quick photo shoot on Friday to get my, you know, my physique, how I look, um, posing down and stuff. And then Saturday rolls around. That Saturday evening, I'm going to pop open a Pop-Tart. Yeah. So that's the plan. Everything is laid out. Everything is planned. Um, with consistency comes results. And it's it hasn't been as true as you know, this whole process. So I've rambled for so long. This video is going to be so long, but I'm sure I can do some edits to crunch it down. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'm still thinking, I'm probably going to do a play by play of the carbs that I'm going to be eating. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> We'll be right